everyone welcome back to my makeup party here is what I'm dealing with right now and why I probably won't be making any new videos for several days don't worry I have thousands of old videos backlogged still good product reviews but I just am not gonna be probably filming any eye makeup reviews for a while and here's my warning to everyone out there about skincare okay look at my eye Oh, yeah, you don't want to see that. It's, it's, it's nasty, and it's both eyes. The good news is it no longer hurts. Okay, so here's what I did. I did this to myself. I've been using a really good product for the last several weeks, and it has worked really well. It's a 7% alpha hydroxy acid serum or cream, I guess you can call it. And I put it on my melasma right here, and it lightens my melasma so amazingly well. Put it on at night, just on my melasma spots, and then I do all the rest of my skincare. Well, about five, four or five nights ago, probably five nights ago now, I put it on. I put it on my spots, and I proceeded to use my same fingers to dip into my eye cream, my nighttime eye cream, and put my eye cream on. And I did this two nights in a row. I put one of my eye creams on the first night. It's the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Concentrate Eye Cream. And I put that on and this eye started to burn after a little while and I thought, Ugh. and started to water and burn. And then this eye started burning and I thought, man, I'm allergic to that Fresh Black Tea Eye, eye cream that I've been using forever. Why would I be allergic to that all of a sudden? The next night, I did not use my AHA cream. The third night, I used my AHA cream and I did the same thing again, but with a, I used my Clinique All About Eyes. And then my eyes started burning again and I think, I'm thinking, what, am I, I'm allergic to Clinique now? I'm allergic to Clinique and my fresh eye cream at the same time. Where is this coming from? Then I figured it out. I, I was using my same fingers for the AHA serum and my eye cream. So therefore, alpha hydroxy acid was getting in my eyes. So I have burned the inside of my eyelids, just really, really irritated. Not so much burning or hurting, but just really irritated feeling. Um, and I've used drops, and uh, last night, this really helped. Last night I used um, this lubricating gel that's for nighttime that you put inside your eyelids, but it really, really helped with the irritation, and I feel like it's helping it to heal a lot better. So if you're using any kind of retinol, retinoids, um, alpha hydroxy acid, anything on the rest of your face, do your eye creams first and then put all that other stuff on. And a lot of times I do that at night. The first thing I, the first thing I moisturize is my eyes. So I don't know how long this is going to go on. It's been like five days and I didn't get this swelling really until last night. I started to get this swelling and the rest of the time it's just been this blood red inside there. They're not actually bleeding. They Horrible. That's my public service announcement. Watch what you're doing with your skincare because you can really hurt yourself. So I've got a few products I'm going to show you anyway today. Um, things that I have on and things that I can swatch. I know I look terrible without any eye makeup on. Just, but I will swatch some things that I've been picking up lately. I've got a ton of makeup to review for you guys and I can't really put anything on my eyes so that, that's out. I did get an hourglass lipstick. It's called Femme Nude. This is a nude stylo pencil sort of sort of big crayon size. This one is number five. So they have a whole line of these nudes and it is a beautiful peach and it has a gold shimmer in it. Let me show you it on my hand. This has a drawback though and let me tell you about it. First of all, it's quite thick. It's not a sheer product by any means. It's a really nice peach and then it has a gold shimmer on top of it. Can you see that kind of gold shimmer? I think it's a really good color for summer. It's a little bit gritty and chunky when you're putting it on your lips. And the other thing about it is, apparently Hourglass is a vegan brand and it has a smell. It has this really gross smell. So the story on this is I bought one of these. I ordered it online because I tried it in the store and liked it. And I was putting in an order. I ordered it online, got it in, and I opened it, and I'm smelling this waxy, gross smell. 
Do you ever have like a drawer full of old lipsticks and you go through them sometimes and you open up one and you smell it and it has this intense wax smell? A lot of really cheap sort of, you know, $1.99 type lipsticks will smell like this right off the bat. But I notice it a lot on old lipsticks that have been sitting in my drawer forever that need to be thrown out also. And I actually took it back to Sephora and I'm like, is it supposed to smell like this? So I took one off the shelf and, and opened it and smelled that one and I'm like, it smells exactly the same. The lady at, at Sephora told me, she said that Hourglass is a vegan type product. They don't have a lot of preservatives or anything that's going to mask the actual smell of the actual ingredients that are in the lipstick. They probably also do not have a very long shelf life because they don't have preservatives. Therefore, they probably go over to that waxy old lipstick smell pretty quickly. That is why they all smelled like that, the ones that were on the shelf, and why the one I got smelled like that. So, they have an odd smell. If you can get past that, it's a really pretty summery color. Also picked up a couple of sample deluxe samples of this new do the hula from benefit now i have on the powder version of it let me show you i actually got a really really oh so cute kit um, it was a deluxe sample kit for vib rouges from ordering stuff from benefit and it's all of hula products it came with a hula body bronzer which I, I don't care about bronzing my body and then it came with this little tiny powder type bronzer and I've decided I am in love with this color. It is like the perfect bronzer color and I keep saying that every time I get a new bronzer and I like it, you know, some of them I don't like, but the ones that I get that are new that I like, I'm saying this is the perfect bronzer color. Well, I think this is like the, the perfect, the actual real perfect bronzer color. It's matte. It's just the summeriest most subtle but realistic looking color that I've run across. So this is my new favorite <laughs> bronzer. I keep saying that, but this one I think has really done it. This um, liquid bronzer, this is a semi-matte liquid bronzer for face. I didn't like this one. So it pumps out into a liquidy type form. And then when I, and you would think it would match the color of the powder, but it's real orange. And it's of course very liquidy, very sheer. This one has a smell and it smells like men's cologne. I, it has that that sort of fresh kind of piney men's cologne cedar, kind of cedary smell. So I don't really think it matches as well. It's a totally different color, isn't it? It's still too sheer and liquidy looking for a bronzer for me. Anyway, that's the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Oh, another product. This one did not work out. So gross. <laughs> Sephora makes this new line of matte lip creams called Wonderful Cushion. They have several shades in this, and it's not at all what I was expecting. So, I get this color, and see, here's what the color's supposed to be. This one is called Wonderful Rosy. So I'm thinking it's sort of a natural mauve looking. Well, take a look at it. It comes with this spongy, round, soft cushion on the end, and then the product dispenses from the hole in the end. <laughs> Barbie. It is Barbie pink. It's matte. It's definitely matte. It looks more like a lip stain, kind of, than anything else. And it's, it's just Barbie. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's just Barbie. My nails are Barbie right now. That's okay. That's my nails. I would just wouldn't wear this as a lip color. It's just not my color at all. Too bright. And it's very opaque. So it just, when you combine pink like this, a real bright pink like this with an opacity to the lips, it just does. That's double, double not working for me. I mean, if, it, if something's bright pink and it's sheer, I think I can wear it. You know, it's summery. But this kind of sort of chalky looking, it's chalky looking on. Let me tell you, that's how I describe it, it's chalky looking on. So I finally got my new NARS blue. This is just so pretty. This is an upcoming review. It's pretty, it's it's called Pool Shark. It's a, it's a periwinkle. So it's a blue lavender it's somewhere in there and it's very shimmery. I'm gonna try to figure out the best way to wear this to where it's not too young looking for me. Um, I have my By Terry Compact that came in, Sun Designer Palette. Um, and I guess I technically could have put that on today and shown you how that goes on. However, I want to do this justice and I want to have full eyeshadow and everything else on with it. It's got my new By Terry lipstick and I have on right now, and I've got three more shades of this on order, a new product that I have fallen in love with. Smashbox has finally got on the liquid matte lipstick bandwagon and made a line of lipstick, liquid lipsticks called Always On. This is uh, one of the colors right here. 
This one's called Stepping Out. Um, they stay on all day. They are very, very weightless. So, you know, those are my upcoming reviews. I don't know when I'm going to get to do some of these because I don't know when this is going to die down. It actually doesn't hurt. I mean, I could sit here and make up my eyes, but then I would have to take all my stuff off with wipes and eye makeup remover, and I think that would just irritate everything. So, um, upcoming reviews, lots of them, and that was my public service announcement today. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.